things they want to address. Sir Sikal ji, are you calling me? Sir Sikal ji, I am calling from Texas. Yes, Sir Sikal ji. I want to ask them about their children and their children who are born and brought up. And he is really a big motivation for the younger generation. And we want to see him more on the media so that, you know, our sick children, especially the boys, they don't have to be any confidence as well. Or we are just on the born and brought up and the education. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd like to say something about that. You know, um, and thank, thank you for the call. You know, Guru Saab said that every Sikh is worth sabha luck. Mm -hmm. And it's true. It's true. If you, you know, I, I hope that young people recognize that there is nothing that a Sikh can't do if they're determined to do it. You know, for example, I'll give you one example. My little brother uh, ran for political office in Hoboken, New Jersey, where we live. Mm -hmm. And we live in a town that is 0.001% Asian. Forget South Asian or Sikh or Indian, Asian. When, they, when he was running for office, they asked him, um, how many um, Sikhs are there in, Ho in Hoboken? And he said four. Uh, uh, and, and, they, and the political leader said 4%. He said, no, four, <laughs> just four. And, but he you know, got out there. He has a bug. He has a star. He knocked on more doors than anybody else. Wow. He met more people at all the uh, subway stations than anybody else. And you know, 12 people ran for three spots. And he received the most votes in town. Wow. But that goes to show you that as Sikhs, we cannot be afraid to be who we are. You'll actually find that when you do good as a Sikh, because you're wearing your dastar, people will remember it. They'll remember it much more greatly because of the identity that Guru Sahib gave you, because of the bana that Guru Sahib gave you. So I would urge all Sikhs to be very, very, especially the young people, be very proud. You're a Sikh, you're, you're the child of Guru Gobind Singh Ji, who stood up for the rights of everyone, you should be proud. You're a Sikh, you're, you're the child of Guru Nanak Dev Ji, who believed in the equality of all people, you should be proud and stand up for it and always, always fight for what's right and people will appreciate you and people will appreciate your dastar and they'll appreciate your bana and they'll appreciate your Sikhi. So I'm, I'm thankful for the call and I hope that that message gets out that Sikhs are on the move, that our, our community can do many great things. We just have to believe in ourselves and do it. And Guru Sahib promised us that we're Savalak and we will be Savalak. You know, that is so beautiful. And I am thankful for the lady who called from Texas, Jinane question, Puchya. And I'm so glad you said this. It's really an inspiration to all the kids out there, younger kids, older, it's really an inspiration what you said. And hats off, Amr, hats off what you're doing for all of us. So Thanks. that was really beautifully said. Thank you for Thank that. You. Thank you. Sasi Kal Ji, how are you calling? Yes, hello, Gurmeet Kaur Ji. Sasi Kal. Manbir Singh Ji. Yes, I'm a little bit of a drink. Vaheguru Ji, how are you today? Yes, Ji. Tell me, what would you like to share with Amar Deep Singh Ji today? Yes, Amar Deep Singh Ji, I am watching him. My son is relating to him because he did some internship in New York with him, Balmik Singh. Okay. And first of all, congratulations for his selection. He said that he had a lot of work. He said that he had a lot of work. He said that he had a lot of work. So true. Because, you know, we are not too much in, in number, because we are maybe 25 million throughout the world, maybe 500,000 or so in North America. So it's not the number, it's the quality and activity we are showing. So that's why all the teachers are coming to the answer is that they are actively participating. That's more important, rather than number. And that, that is so true. Absolutely. When I go to American College of Physicians meeting, which is the largest physicians organization in the world, so sometimes I see that we are only three or four. But one of the reasons I go there because then I get to see everybody and everybody is just seeing me. Just going there and being a part of it is so much marketing for Sikhs. So, um, like, like Manmohan Singh Ji, yeah, you know, we are not so many, but if you are in, on high post and very, very visible, I think that gives you more marketing. Absolutely. We couldn't agree with you more, Manbir Singh Ji. Yeah. And also I want to ask him, I'm sure that they are coming, there's a, a very big conference in Bridgewater Gurdwara, New Jersey, uh, from World Sheet Council. 
and I hope that all the organizations, uh, whether it's the coalition, Feldrape, and so on, they all are invited, and I hope he's coming uh, or sending a representation from uh, Sikh coalition also. No, the, the world's... Because account. all the Gurdwara organization and representatives are, are coming under one platform, National Sikh Convention, 22nd, 23rd, 24th of October, Bridgewater Gurdwara, New Jersey. Okay. I think we have to work together, all the... All the organizations have to work together for, for common goal. Absolutely. There are so many good uh, Sikh organizations that are working for the Chardik Law of the Panth. And, you know, the World Sikh Council has been doing amazing work mm -hmm. uh, to, to stand up for the Chardik Law of the Panth. A lot of the people associated with the group, the World Sikh Council, are the uncles who gave me a lot of inspiration and, mm -hmm. and gave me a good example to live by when I want to be a Sikh. But I am pl planning to be at the at the convention, at the convention. Uh, it's been discussed in the Sikh coalition <laughs> circles. So we're, we're, I'm, I'm really looking forward to being there and, and like Uncle okay. said, joining okay. hands. Congratulations again. Thanks. Thank you. Great, thank you so much. You know, Amradeep, I'm glad he said that with, um, with, with the other organizations, of course, being involved in everything and doing all this. I know Sikh coalition has been uh, very actively involved in um, and diligently working on the healthcare matters community and the Runani Kafi surveys kitene and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, with the new healthcare act that was passed recently, what does that mean for our community? What does that new um, new act do for our community? Is there now some benefits kine? Because I'm telling you, our coalition is doing a lot of work. So you guys know hands on about this. So tell us a little about that. Yeah, you know, first I want to say this, that uh, the Sikh Coalition had done a survey of Sikhs in Richmond Hill, New York. Mm -hmm. It's an immigrant center, much like uh, largely Sikh immigrant centers around the country. Mm -hmm. And we've surveyed over a thousand Sikhs. Okay. Okay? And <clears throat> what we found was that 46%, 46% of the Sikhs that we surveyed do not have health care insurance. Oh, wow. That means if they're sick, if there's a disaster in the family, if they need to go to the hospital, they don't have health benefits. Wow. Um, we found similar numbers with sick, some of the sick population centers in the Bay Area where the coalition is going to be issuing a report soon. Mm -hmm. Now, the good news is that with the passage of the Health Care Act, mm -hmm. um, there are, is a concerted effort to uh, close the numbers of Americans who are without health care insurance, and six obviously will get benefit from the act. Just last Thursday, some of the most important provisions of the act went into effect. Okay. And I'd like to go through some of them. Please do. One of the most important things is that many kids, when they turn 18, were off their parents' health insurance. Okay. As of last Thursday, mm -hmm. if you're between 18 and 26, mm -hmm. you're still allowed access to your parents' health care insurance. Okay. So if you were kicked off of your health insurance when you turned 18, as long as you're 26 or under, you can go back on your parents' health insurance if they have health insurance. Okay. Uh, second, uh, there have been a lot of studies that have shown that Punjabis in particular have higher rates of diabetes and heart disease. Okay. Under the new Health Care Act as of last <clears throat> Thursday, preventative services services done to check whether you have uh, blood pressure issues, mm -hmm. diabetes screenings, cancer screenings, all those preventative services are now free of charge. Okay. Free of charge. Really? With, with health care, no, with insurance, no insurance? Yes. You can go in and get this done? Absolutely. Okay. 